Hi, today is September 19th, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1458 for the year, The Lenny and Leroy Show. Leroy. So, Lenny, you know that street over by East 35th where you can approach the tunnel from? Lenny, yeah, what about it, Leroy? Leroy, so I'm on the committee, and we're wrecking our goddamn fucking brains over here, trying to figure out what to call that street, and the deadline is like in three hours, because we've got to tell the sign people what to put on the sign. Lenny, hmm, yeah, okay, yeah, I can see how that might be a problem. Leroy, yeah, right? Lenny, let me think about this for maybe a half hour, and I'll get back to you, okay? Leroy, thanks a shitload, Lenny. You're a peach. You're a goddamn fucking peach. 43 minutes later. Lenny, so call me nuts. Call me out of my fucking mind. Call me sick in the fucking head. Call me batshit fucking crazy, but I think I got it. Leroy, all right, lay it on me, Lenny. Lenny, so I'm over here, and I'm sitting, and I'm thinking for over a half a fucking hour over here, and then it hits me. Leroy, yeah? Lenny, tunnel approach street. Leroy, tunnel approach street? Lenny, Tunnel Approach Street, because, like you said, they're approaching the fucking tunnel, right? Leroy, right. Lenny, so why reinvent the wheel, you know? Why make it complicated? Because this doesn't have to be rocket science. It's street science. It's the science of naming streets in a practical way instead of getting all fancy and highfalutin and whatnot. Leroy, Lenny, I think you've done it again. I'm going to run it by the committee, but I'm sure they're going to go for it. I mean, what choice do they have? We've got like three hours to go. You really saved my bacon. Thanks so fucking much. Lenny, don't mention it. So am I going to see you Tuesday at the sex club? Leroy, I can't. The wife has COVID again. Lenny, again? Fuck me. Leroy, fuck somebody for me, will you? Lenny, sure thing. Leroy, I said it before and I'll say it again. Lenny, you're a goddamn peach. Poem number 1459, Indecision. They didn't want to get into the details, and they didn't want to present bullet points or give a broad overview. They didn't want to get granular, nor did they want to put together a high-level summary. They didn't think it was a good idea to go apple-picking, nor did they want to buy oranges at the grocery store. They didn't want to take the time to harvest the vegetables, and they weren't about to go get stuff at the farmer's market. They didn't want to do as they were told, or to do as they pleased. And look, we think we've been pretty fucking patient, but if they don't figure out what they want soon, then we're going to have to go. They can stay here indefinitely, but we've got stuff to do. We've got to be moving on. Poem number 1460, The Apple. The way the apple glistens in the sun is music to the eyes, but it is also deafening to the eyes. It is so bright that if you listen to it for too long, then your eyes will no longer be able to hear. I get that the apple is bright and beautiful. I get that the way that the apple glistens in the sun is mesmerizing. But don't be mesmerized. Listen to the glistening for a moment and then look away. Or you could just eat the fucking thing and then problem solved. Poem number 1461, The Laughing Joke. The joke had a wide-ranging, if odd, sense of humor. It would laugh at the appropriate and the inappropriate. It would laugh at the sun and the rain and the waffle iron. It would laugh at graveyards and hospitals and comedy clubs. It would laugh at Nicole Eisenman's and Francis Bacon's and Barbara Kruger's and Bruegel's and Bagel's and Bialy's. It would laugh at the way the wind would change, at limericks and lemonade, at razor blades and planets and plants in retrograde. The laughing joke could laugh at almost anything at all, anything really except itself, and because of its inability to laugh at itself, the laughing joke was almost never told. And the last poem of the day, poem number 1462, Helicopter Seed. I think I may have seen a helicopter seed fly slowly past my window, but it could have been a drone disguised as a helicopter seed, or possibly something else. It probably wasn't a helicopter, because that would be a really small helicopter, like only the tiniest of tiny insects could ride in that helicopter if it was a helicopter and not a helicopter seed or a drone. I think what it was was a helicopter seed. But if I am wrong, then perhaps I am being spied upon. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you.